Yo, what is going on guys? This is Failing YouTuber Marvin, and I have the guest today another YouTube gameplay. The gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background today is a 30 to 3 free-for-all on the map Breach using the Razorback. I know some of you guys probably don't want to be seeing more Black Ops 3 gameplay because you guys said in the last commentary, a few of you guys were saying you really don't like BO3 gameplay, but I had this gameplay saved on my hard drive. The last BO3 video I did did pretty well, so I figured I'd bring you guys this gameplay. It's pretty beast. Hopefully you guys enjoy it in the background. If we get 50 likes on this video, I'll bring you guys the best gameplay I can possibly bring you in the next commentary. It's going to be kind of hard though because I work a lot now. But anyway, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, okay, this is like a clickbait title, and I thought Failing didn't like clickbait, right? This actually isn't a clickbait title. If you guys are smart, and I think most of you guys are, you guys are going to realize throughout this video that everything in the title is actually accurate. I am kind of making a parody of prank channels titles in this title, obviously. I'm kind of making a joke out of it, but it actually is an accurate title, and you guys are going to see this. So I kind of wanted to save this video for a special, right? It's a really funny story, very awkward story, and I'm going to go into a lot of detail probably, so I'm just like Letting you guys know right now this might get a little bit awkward if my phone's going off sorry there's not too much I can do about it I actually just tweeted out that I was gonna be doing this story and I realized that my commentary fucked up so I'm gonna have to redo this but anyway Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to get right into this. So if you guys don't already know, I work at a restaurant called Five Guys. It's kind of like a fast food place. You know, we do orders as fast as we possibly can. It's not like one of those restaurants where they take like an hour to serve you food or whatever, right? But there also isn't a drive through So it's actually an open kitchen, which basically means you can see the workers doing everything, making your food as, you know, you can just sit there and watch them do it pretty much. So sometimes some of my coworkers, friends will come in and mess with us and just joke around and stuff. Kind of distract us, you know, be talking to us as we work. Uh, my old man manager that I was talking about in a video a couple weeks ago, he'll come in here and, you know, he'll get free food because we'll give him free food. It's okay since we know him. Um, but anyway, he'll just be joking around. He'll tell me, you know, look behind you, your fries are done. And I look back and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't drop fries in. You got me. <laughs> and also my coworkers will mess with me sometimes. Like my coworker was telling me, look down at your shirt. She's telling me, hey, there's something on your shirt. And then I look down and she like moves her finger up and kind of hits my nose with it a little, just like gently, you know, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, how people will do that. And they'll just be like, I got you. And I'm just like, yeah, I guess you got me. And you know, the made you look kind of thing and people just mess around a good bit at work and it makes it a kind of fun environment but sometimes people just go too far so I'm going to go into detail right now about what I do at my job. It's going to make sense and piece together for the story in a couple minutes here, but I just need to explain all this. So I'm pretty much the guy who makes the fries, right? I cook the fries, I put them in the bag, I call out the order, and I hand the order out to the customer over the counter, and that's pretty much what happens, right? And there's people that'll just go sit down and, you know, walk all the way over when their order number is called. Some people just stand at the edge of the counter right where I am and just look across, look over, watch what I'm doing, kind of watch me work. And that's cool. If people want to do that, that's fine. You know, it's an open kitchen. It's cool like that. You know, we can sit there and talk to the customers if we want to and have conversations with them as we work it's kind of neat but at the same time it can't really be distracting from our work right so there's a couple of girls that have come into five guys before and they basically i don't know i guess i describe them as really slutty girls right one of them's wearing like a strapless shirt her boobs almost all the way out you know the other one is like you can literally see the skin underneath where her titties are like you know her boobs almost all the way hanging out and as we saw them at the door yesterday my coworker was like wow i would never let my daughter go out of the house like that and man i gotta say if i had a daughter I would never let her leave the house like that. If I caught her trying to leave the house like that, she wouldn't leave the house for the next month. You know, she's like, oh, but dad, I gotta go to work. Nope, fuck you. Oh, I gotta go to school. Nope, fuck you. <laughs> okay, let me just stop joking around. But anyway, they come in, and you know, they got their boobs all hanging out and stuff, and it's just kind of awkward, because I'm just like, okay, you know, don't look at the titties, you know, okay, try to be professional, do your job here, don't look at the tits, whatever you do, right? And the girl that normally works at the register asked our manager to just take the order, just because I guess she thought it was really awkward, and it really was, just like, you just don't really go out in public like that, you know, it's just kind of awkward. But anyway, you know, I'm going out and I'm calling out the order, they're kind of standing there watching me as I do it, right? And I'm on the way back after I called out an order and gave someone out their order, and they ask me, what's your name? And I tell them Marvin. I don't actually tell them Marvin, that's not even my real name, guys. If you guys don't know, I'm not going to tell you my real name, because, well, it's just smart for people on the internet not to know your name. It's just not a good idea to be letting everyone know that kind of stuff. I think H3H3 Productions actually made a video uh, a good month or two ago talking about this, how he basically his cell phone number got hacked and stuff just because they knew his actual name so that's just not a good thing for people to know if they don't know your real name it, you're less likely to get hacked it's just a good thing right so I tell them my real name obviously but you know we're going with Marvin so then they know I'm just like okay you know nice to meet you I gotta go back I gotta start working on fries again so I'm working on my fries again I'm just working on their order they're waiting you know and I'm like okay you know I'm gonna give them out their order and it's gonna be all good 
So they call my name, and I turn around, and the one girl starts grabbing and, like, squeezing the other girl's boobs. This, this girl's boobs are, like, huge, right? Like, they don't even fit in her hands. And she's just, like, grabbing them, squeezing them around and stuff. Got, like, this smirk on her face, and I'm just like, oh, no. I just got pranked. I was legit. Like, I just got pranked, man. If my phone's going off, it's all these Twitter notifications. You guys are hyped for this story. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, straight up, I got pranked, dude. I never thought it would happen. I didn't think, like, this is the kind of stuff you see in the movies, man. This doesn't happen in real life, right? And she just started grabbing at her boobs. And anyway. Way, the same thing happened to me that would have happened to any straight guy. I got it hard on. Of course it was going to happen. It's just like, what do you really expect? You know, I'm, I'm just trying to work here and they're just being all distracting and stuff. So anyway, I've got a big boner here. I'm probably like 80% hard. I told you guys I was going into detail, right? And I'm over here. I'm wrapping up the burgers. I'm getting them ready to put in the bag. I'm, you know, getting, I already got my fries ready. They're good to go in the bag. And then I got to call out that next order. I know back in my mind it's them. So I'm just like trying to make it go away. I'm just like, you know, doing what people do when they're trying to make a boner go away they're just like you know counting i'm like five plus five is ten ten plus one is eleven eleven plus one is twelve my dick is like twelve inches long right now even though i'm not fully hard okay let me stop joking around i got a big dick but i'm not i'm not gonna joke around too much about that so let's just keep going right so i've just got a hard on i can't make it go away right so finally you know the burgers are all packed up in the bag it's ready to go over to the other table i put the fries in there i call it the order and of course they're like yep that's that's us so i go over there i'm completely hard i've got like an apron on and i'm wearing jeans so i could have been worse but at the same time what am I really gonna do sit there and cover it up I, I have to have the bag in my hands to hand it to them right so I hand them the bag I can tell they're looking right down at my dick what am I gonna do right and I'm just like I really just hoped that my co-workers didn't see this because I would feel bad if they had to see my dick just because I got like pranked pretty much you know <laughs> but anyway I hand them their food I say you know have a great night I kind of awkwardly walk back I'm just like yeah that just happened <laughs> Anyway, I was just embarrassed like dude I'm not trying to have my coworkers or any customers being seeing this This is just not a good thing man Like who really does that to someone like there's a certain time and place to do something like that and that was definitely not the time and place So anyway, one of my coworkers was in the back working on like cleaning dishes So I go back there and I told him dude. I just got pranked <laughs> I straight up told him that. I'm just like, they, they got me. What was I going to do, you know? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I guess they got what they wanted. I really had not expected anything like that to happen when I was at work. But anyway, hopefully you guys found this story pretty funny. That's pretty much the entire story. I just honestly thought it was funny. They straight up got me, dude. They, they pranked me. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this story. I would appreciate it if you guys leave a like on this video. If you did, I will push you down if you don't leave a like. I'm, I'm kidding, guys. I'm not going to do that to you. But anyway, subscribe for more if you haven't already. Follow me on social media. Links will all be down below. And have a sexy day, guys.